All right, part two of getting Visual C++ and getting started with C++ for graphics or for Maya. So why do I recommend you use an IDE? And you, you will find people that recommend otherwise, that recommend that programmers don't use an IDE or that the IDEs aren't that beneficial. I'm not gonna argue with that uh, because I don't think that IDEs themselves are uh, the be all end all of things, but if you're beginning, if you're a beginner, having a good ID um, is gonna actually help you a lot. Uh, don't get too used to it over the years, but starting with one so that you can explore things and know what is going on and have tight integration between the various tools of the trade is gonna be beneficial. Now, the reason I recommend Visual Studio is an ID is integrating different parts. So there's several things that you need if you want to develop uh, compiled native software. And obviously you will need a text editor that is by far the easiest part to replace or uh, extend or augment. You can use whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't really matter all that much. It only matters a little bit that there's a good text editor to debugger integration when you're actually debugging, but the text editor is probably the least relevant part of an IDE. It also happens to be by far the worst uh, part of Visual Studio, if you ask me. But these days, as of Visual Studio 2017, um, it's kind of almost bearable if you configure it enough and use a couple of plugins. Now, the other part that is important is you're now developing native code. You don't have a virtual machine with an interpreter in it for doing all the hard work for you. Uh, you're not in, you know, a nice walled garden kind of scenario. You have to deal with the native gritty. So when people say compiler, uh, they often mean the build tools and the build chain. So let's say, and this is mostly so that I can expand on this later on, that we say this is our build chain or our build tools. This build chain, which is often referred to as the compiler itself, is actually made of the compiler and a linker and this is only important for the learning side of things but the compiler and the linker are very often tightly coupled together it's pretty unlikely that you get to separate them uh, but more important is part of the IDE chain that I would consider part of the build chain though it's not always running is the debugger and the compiler itself is made of many moving parts and then you have another part to the ID itself and these could be you know either way uh, it's not really part of the build chain D per se I mean eventually it goes away um, but uh, the last part of all of these is um, a project manager and now the reason I'm mentioning that is because the one in Visual Studio again is pretty mediocre uh, so very often you find people using CMake instead or something else and it complicates a beginner's life because instead of being able to just do something with an out of the box comprehensive software, they also have to start learning all these little moving parts that can break. Now, of this lot, I would say that the standout one is the debugger in Visual Studio, not because it's great, mostly because everything else kind of sucks, to be honest. There's other things that come with it that are a lot less important, uh, or rather, that are less important to a beginner. Uh, the profiler, you know, you might have some interest in it at some point, but it's not super useful. Uh, you can have things like uh, repository management. Uh, again, this one in Visual Studio is pretty awful. But I will say that at least as you're learning, these are very, 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 very optional. In fact, they're probably going to get in the way unless, you know, you've already been experiencing both kind of things uh, for Python or for some other simpler language to get running that you were already using. Now, why do I even mention this? Mostly I want to go and explain how some of these things work because you fooled um, at least in my view of things, you do need to know what a compiler and a linker are and what they do. Uh, that's one of the big entry fees uh, that people often struggle to pay. And um, it's one of the things when you buy a C++ book because they all try to be platform agnostic. They tell you nothing of the project management or of how the compiler works, the linker works. So 
you get errors and you suddenly don't know if it's a linker error, God forbid, you don't know how to get out of that one. But if you know at least a little bit of what is going on with your platform, you are usually going to be able to uh, get through the learning process much quicker. Now, the debugger is not just for debugging, it's for studying as well. Uh, especially as a beginner, that's the irony of things. You need a debugger more than ever uh, because you're probably unsure about what you're doing. Uh, so you're gonna end up with print statements uh, sprinkled everywhere. Then you bump into things that are not as easy to print as you might be used to from other languages. And that's where a lot of people fall off the wagon. The project manager is just something that you kind of have to deal with. And the one in Visual Studio is well known to be uh, not the greatest uh, solutions and projects and so on. But at the same time, the alternatives, which are hybrid project managers, build systems like CMake, aren't exactly well loved. So we're going through all of these to explain what the ID is. Now, if that installation of Visual Studio went well for you, uh, when you open Visual Studio the first time, you're going to see something similar to these. Uh, you might have a start page that indicates what your previous projects are, but this is basically where you want to get. Uh, so if you got to this point, our next step is going to be creating an actual project and explaining uh, a few of the things that are going into it. And eventually we're going to get to compile something. So that's it. <clears throat> that's it for part two really I just wanted to go over what an ID is what it contains because uh, we're gonna dive right into one so that you know what to expect